Hey everybody, it's Jeff from New York and welcome back to the New York channel. We are continuing with our Jersey Shore series here on the weekends and today we're visiting the quaint little town of Ocean Grove, New Jersey. Ocean Grove is situated just south of Asbury Park, another town we'll be visiting shortly. Ocean Grove has a beautiful beach as well as a downtown area and a tent city not the tent city you've been hearing about in the news lately, but a beautiful tent city. Ocean Grove I consider a sleepy Jersey Shore town, and we'll start off here at the boardwalk along the ocean and head into the downtown area later in the video. Let's get started. It's a beautiful summer day here in Ocean Grove, New Jersey. <laughs> Ocean Grove was founded in 1869 when a group of Methodist clergymen formed the Ocean Grove Camp Meeting Association to develop and operate a summer camp meeting site on the New Jersey seashore. By the early 1900s, the popular Christian meeting ground became known as the Queen of Religious Resorts. The community's land is still owned by the Camp Meeting Association and leased to individual homeowners and businesses. Now, as New Jersey's finest year-round family seashore resort, this one square mile of natural beauty has welcomed and delighted vacationers for over a century. On Ocean Grove's tree-lined streets is the largest assemblage of authentic Victorian architecture in the nation. In 1976, the town was entered into the National Register of Historic Places, and in 1977, the New Jersey State Register of Historic Places as well. Though the population swells in the summer months, Ocean Grove is open for business 365 days a year with over 3,000 year-round residents. As you'll see throughout the video, the town is still deeply religious and the beaches don't open on Sundays until 12 noon. If you look closely at the very edge of that pier on the right hand side is a little guy or a doll holding an American flag and a sign that says down the shore everything's alright in homage to a Bruce Springsteen song Jersey Girls. That little thing, that little doll there has been there for years. This is Frankie the Flip Flop, he follows me around all my Jersey Shore videos. Sometimes he's elusive, sometimes he's very easy to find. Spot him in this video, note the time you spotted him in the comments below, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video.
This little house of worship has some great views and during the evening some live gospel performances. We're coming to the end of the Ocean Grove boardwalk here, but don't worry, there's lots more to see in Ocean Grove. If we were to continue straight, we would connect to the Asbury Park boardwalk, another video. Up ahead, off in the distance, is the great auditorium facing the Ocean Pathway, which is what we're on right now, once named one of the 10 most beautiful streets in America. I guess it no longer is called that, but it still is beautiful to me, and I think you would agree. The Great Auditorium was constructed in 1894 and is mostly unchanged. It features numerous barn door entrances with colored glass dormers and panels that open for ventilation. Originally, the auditorium was claimed to hold an audience of almost 10,000. Many smaller wooden seats, however, were replaced in later years with cushioned theater-style seating, reducing the capacity to an audience of 6,200 people. The auditorium has been called the state's most wondrous wooden structure, soaring and sweeping alive with the sound of music. Its superb acoustics resulting from its barrel vaulted wooden ceiling have been widely acclaimed and famed conductor Leonard Bernstein once compared it to Carnegie Hall. The area surrounding the auditorium is the tent city I was referring to earlier in the video. It's uh, 114 tents which are occupied from May to September as has been the case since 1869. Each tent is connected to a shed containing a kitchen and a bathroom. The sheds are also used to store the tents during the winter. These tents are in such high demand that there's a waiting list of some 10 years for summer rentals. Stay tuned, we'll be going downtown shortly to visit some shops and restaurants here in Ocean Grove. I'm going to lower the background music once again so you guys can hear how the sounds from that auditorium just fill the streets here in Ocean Grove.
I'm just going to walk around these tents just a little bit more. I find them fascinating, and I hope you do too. I mean, I'm showing an awful lot of them. Then we'll move on to the downtown area. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video, and if you are, give it a thumbs up, and while you're at it, if you're not subscribed to the New York channel already, subscribe right now, it really does help the channel out. And while you're at it, if you'd like to support the New York channel, just click on that thanks button right underneath the video. I appreciate your support, guys. Remember, click on that thanks button, get a shout out on an upcoming video. And speaking of shout outs, a shout out to John Higgins, as well as Mike C, who left a super thanks on my latest Atlantic City video, extensive tour of the Borgata and MGM Tower. Thanks so much, John and Mike. I appreciate your support of the New York channel. And now we're going to start heading into the downtown or the commercial area of Ocean Grove, if there's such a thing as a commercial area to Ocean Grove. Do not want to visit this place between the beaches the houses of worship the tent city the shopping the restaurants it's perfect definition of a quaint little town just a heads up parking is horrible in this town if you can find a spot you're extremely lucky
most places I visit, including Atlantic City and Las Vegas, the Purple Zebra is a place to get a daiquiri. In Ocean Grove, it's a boutique. Something about this song is giving me a Snow White vibe. I'm waiting for little birds to land on my dainty little fingers and rabbits gather around my petite feet. A shout out to every building in this town. They are simply beautiful. They had a fire here a couple of years ago, a bad fire, but the fire department had it contained within a matter of hours. This town is made up entirely of wood and is extremely vulnerable between the ocean breezes and the wood. A uh, fire could spread very quickly. Good job to the Ocean Grove Fire Department. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please like, comment, ask some questions and most importantly subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching and I'll see you around the city.